All right, we've got similar figures, direct scale level one here. We're going to run through about three problems in order to get the general idea of what's going on. So our first one says quadrilateral GHIJ is dilated by a scale factor of two, meaning that we multiplied it, everything on it by two, to form quadrilateral GHIJ prime. What is the me measure of side GH? So we need to note here that the image that we have, this is the one that's already been dilated. So it means we took a figure and we multiplied everything by two and this was the result. So I'm going to really quick sketch out maybe what our original could have looked like, something somewhat similar to this. And we would have had side J here, um, I here it looks like, H and G. And this would have been our original image. The question is asking what is the measure of side GH? So that's this side right here, which means I need to know that I took something times two and I ended with 112 because that's the corresponding side. So in order to figure out what that is, I'm going to work backwards. I'm going to take 112 divided by 2. So 112 divided by 2. And that's going to give me the original side of GH, which looks like um, it's going to be, let's see here, be 56. So that should be our answer for this one. So we'll go ahead and type that in and see if we're good to go. Great. All right, let's try another one. Uh, this one, this one doesn't have a picture with it, so we might need to draw it out. Triangle TUV is dilated by a scale factor of three fourths. So my scale factor is three fourths uh, to form triangle TUV prime. Side UV measures 18, and what's the measure of side UV prime? Now it doesn't really matter how we draw this. We're just drawing it to get a general idea of what's going on. So I'm going to start here, and I'm going to draw triangle TUV. And it doesn't matter where you place them, we just place them randomly. It's dilated by the scale factor of 3 fourths, which since it's less than 1 means it's getting smaller. So we're going to have here, uh, let's go back and undo that quick. We have T, U, and V. And these are all the primes, so these are the new ones. Okay, I know that side UV measures 18, so UV is right here, measures 18. And so I need to figure out 18 times 3 fourths. What does that equal? Um, so we can just plug that into a calculator. Uh, you can use the fractional understanding there. Either one really works. Uh, but it looks like this would be 13.5 when we take 3 fourths times 18. So to answer the question, side UV is going to be 13.5. Should be good. All right, one more. Uh, another one, we're going to have to draw this one out again because there's no picture here. It says triangle JKL is dilated by a scale factor of 5 to form triangle JKL prime. Side KL prime measures 65. What is the measure of side KL? So here I'm going to start off. I'm going to draw my original triangle, and this one was JKL. And then the scale factor of 5 means I took this times 5, and I got a bigger triangle, because multiplying by 5 is going to make it bigger. So here's J prime, K prime, and L prime. And I know that KL was 65. So on this one, I'm going to work backwards, because I want to know what KL was. So I'm going to take 65 divided by my 5 in order to get our answer. And 65 divided by 5 is 13. So our answer should be 13.